Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. I'm burning. It was so good. It was so good. Okay. Let's face it. People can get really nosy around the holidays, mm -hmm. asking all of your business with no problem. Who are you dating? When you get married? Why aren't you pregnant yet? The questions go on and on. So how do we handle all those questions without losing our cool? Here to help this and more, help us out with this and more is relationship expert, Dr. Jackie Del Rosario, also known as Dr. Jackie. Yay! Dr. Jackie, it's so good to have you here. Yes. I've been having fun just watching this show. <laughs> I know, right? You guys are trips. Man. We, we, we like to think of ourselves as a vacations. Lot, a lot of fun. But, you know, a lot lots of fun. Yeah, we have a good time. Yes. But, Dr. Jackie, I got to ask you, what, what, what are some of the most difficult questions that people ask? And why are they so relentless? Mm. Yeah, because it's family. You know, they're related to you, so they think that they have a right. Mm. You know, so what about this one? You know, what happened with your ex? Mm -hmm. You know, why'd y'all break up? We really liked him. Oh. Now, you know, here you are, you're at your holiday, you're, you're in a good mood. Before you think about it, you're depressed because you got to relive and rehash, you know, those horrible That's things true. that happen. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or, you know, when are you getting married? Why aren't you like your sister or your brother? Oh, you know, That's those so are awful. some disturbing or, questions. Or here's, when are you having a baby? <laughs> yes. Isn't your biological clock about Thank to you. stop? Now, that <laughs> one will really stress you out, right? Yeah, and I'm, sh you, I'm sure you got that a lot. I can't nobody say anything now. I know, that. <laughs> right. I mean, prior to I'm that. shut them all down. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and why do people feel like they're so entitled to ask those personal questions? I think that people are nosy, first of all, mm -hmm. and so they don't really feel as if there's any rules regarding what they can really ask you. And because they're family, they feel like they can get even a little bit more, you know, personal with you. Mm. So. Well, Dr. Jackie, this is my challenge. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because I'm not always tactful. How do you ask a person to mind their business mm -hmm. nicely? Well, see, I'm going to give you a couple of options because it really depends. You say that you're not very tactful, so that means that you're very full on. Straight. So you just might say, you know, I'm not comfortable with that question. Okay. You know, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna respond. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's being very, very direct. But you could just say something like, you know, deflect. Mm -hmm. And you might want to deflect with humor or a refusal statement. So these are things that you What's rehearse. A refusal statement? Yeah. It's, it's a rehearsed response. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you think about it before you get there. Because you know how it is. Yeah. When somebody mm -hmm. asks you something on, on, the, on the spot, you might not be able to think fast right. enough. And that's what's really um, uncomfortable for people. The so it might be something like, uh, you know, those are hot topics, Auntie. We're not going to talk about that today. Uh, well, Dr. Oh, Jackie, oh, here's, here's what that's I do. Good. You tell me if this works mm. for you, okay? Because I, you know, never want to step outside the lines. But when someone like Tammy asks me a question that I think is none of their <laughs> business, I just kind of look. <laughs> oh, and that works. But then I'm going to give you the hello. And I'm like, oh, I what, said. What, what did you say? Uh -huh. But the stare of like, I'm going to let you figure it out. Right. <laughs> well, well, what about this? For you? Yes, it has. Well, see, okay. if it works, I believe that there's no one size fits all. You got to mm -hmm. figure out what's good for you. Mm -hmm. But even saying to people, that's a private question. Mm -hmm. How are you doing? Yes. <laughs> How are yeah. you doing? Yes. And I think that when you do that, then that makes them feel like, uh oh, now I'm on the spot. So right. they might, you know, back off a you little know, bit. You know, actually, that's good information to know when mm -hmm. being in really reality TV. Yes. Because I think people read right. from the book of Quad. <laughs> <laughs> they never read from their own books. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Dr. Jackie. Appreciate you. I'm know. glad that I've been of help. Yes. 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 So, of course, college students are coming home, and then, you know, the mama, everybody want to sit you down and talk mm -hmm. about everything. How much should college students divulge, or should parents just take a step back. Well, think about it. You know, a lot of college students are trying to figure it out. They're trying mm -hmm. to figure out what yeah. are they doing. They might be changing majors. Who wants to go ahead and rehearse that over it? Because, listen, you know, if you got a big family, you could be telling that same story, story. about 10 or 15 mm -hmm. times before right. you, True. the day is over. Mm -mm, mm -mm, so, mm -mm. you know. Mm -mm. <laughs> no. Listen, listen, I have two nieces that mm -hmm. are graduating from college this year. We help put them through. It took the village to get them through. So we do want to know, how are your grades? Is everything okay? Who are you dating? Can we meet him? Oh, my no. goodness. We, yeah, well, listen, I think we are entitled if we're paying the bills. Not, mm. not to be hey. dating. Each of them I mean, really. Let's be <laughs> Keeping it academic, one of the things that you can do is, if I were a college student, I would make a little print out like this and just hand out a little piece of paper. When they ask the question, all the details are there. So you give them a pamphlet. Right. <laughs> you know, just something. Listen, you can do wonders on with a little word. I wouldn't be opposed to that. A word I would document, take the pamphlet you know. because I want to know all the business. I'm like Egypt. Yeah. Like, my kids, you need to tell me everything that's going on. But yeah. also, Even with the kids, you want to make sure that they're they're making the right decisions, that mm -hmm. they're on track. And so you're doing it because you care. You care. Not yeah. because you're trying to be nosy. But that's, oh, that's kind of heavy, though, for the holidays. Now, they've been in school. They're now getting this time to decompress. 
I want to eat my turkey mm -hmm. and my, my honey baked ham. Right. I'm not really interested in divulging all of that mm -hmm. information, reliving something. It's like when you come home from a hard day at work. Mm -hmm. You yeah, want to just put it that way. Let, let, let me, let Can me. we discuss that at another time? Well, look, that's a little disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. If you, but if you, if you say it right, you can say something like this. Man, I just want to enjoy my family. Okay. I've been at school. It's been so tough. I just want to <sighs> relax and love on y'all and get the love. So yeah, y'all like, like, like that, right? That's not return. I like that. I like that. That's yeah. real Can good. Can we talk about that later? That's good. Call me. You yeah. know, kind and so of thing. you don't answer. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So what about what about when? Uh, what about if a person's delivery mm -hmm. is, is is fair? You mm. know, and it doesn't come across intrusive yeah. or abrupt. So do like for that. example how? Um, so what you been up to? I, I'm sorry, I had to find out what was going on in your life on the internet. Yeah. Why you didn't tell me? Yeah, that's very abrupt. I felt yeah, like that. You've very... heard that before. Oh, <laughs> I felt like that came from somewhere yeah, deep did, down see. in your spirit. It did. It did. Oh, so there I, was an ancestor I, that yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Versus, that felt very Versus personal. someone saying, you know what, I just want to check in with you. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure you're okay. You know I'm here for you if you ever need anyone to talk to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, I like that. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Maybe what we really need is family etiquette. Let's, Come on then, family you know, etiquette. We just got to get everybody yes. prepared to be a little bit more sensitive, right? Yeah. There we go. There we go. I, think, I think we're equipped. Yeah. For the holidays. Yes, we Thank are. you so much to my soul, Roy. You know, y'all been y'all been killing us today. That's how she right. came down with the pink and green and she everything. Yes, yes. Yes. We're coordinating. Yes, yes, we're coordinating. Well, thank you again, Dr. Jack, and we loved it. Uh, and if you want more relationship advice, you can connect with her on social media at Ask Dr. Jackie. Coming up next, Super Beauty is here. Get the scoop on how she's helping build young girls' self-esteem. Stay right where you are. Thank I you, like Dr. That. Jackie.